Hello y'all, this is Brush Fire Wind Dragon, and welcome back to Vanilla Lao. Now it's been way too long since I recorded anything. I'm sorry about that. I have um well I just had lots of computer issues and I've got more or less new equipment now so I can properly record everything for you guys. I wish there was some way to move the recording bars over the mini-map. You don't mind this, do you? I'm, I'm not bothering you or anything, am I? No. Okay. But luckily, I haven't caught Cold Voldemort or anything, so that's good. And I don't know why, but last time I was doing Classic WoW, I did three videos of Madeline in a row for no apparent reason. I don't remember why. So I decided I was going to start off with Katana this time. Let's see where I need to go. I need to be in the crossroads. I don't know why I'm in Orgamar. <laughs> Find a fight point. Is it still on top? Okay, I finally found the wind mist. <laughs> Please take me to the, the crossroads. Okay. Now, um... It's today's my birthday. I mean, not the day that it gets posted up, but the, the day I'm recording it, it's my birthday. <laughs> my dad just said happy birthday to me. He's behind me <laughs> at his computer. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, I was going to do something special last year, but I couldn't figure out what to do. And I guess I'm not doing anything really special for this year either. I'm just going to do Katana. So, what do I got to do today? Um, fight planes, striders, and raptors. That shouldn't take too long. Just gotta get there. <laughs> I am glad to be playing again. Um, I had, you know, I, I haven't been playing recording for a while because of a combination of technical difficulties. I didn't have my computer was dying. And then my headphones messed up and then my house messed up. And then I... I was done with being sick. Not Cold Voldemort. I was just sick. Uh, no beak there. Ah, there's my first beak. Raptor, raptor. Ooh, I got the raptor head. Oh, there's a gnome over there! <laughs> That's the second beak. Ooh, raptor head. Mm. Oh. Ah. Hold on. I don't know why it does this. It's so frustrating. Okay, I'm back in. I don't know why it does that. Mm, can't use it because it is too hand. Okay. Raptor head number three. Ooh, level 13. Cool. And I got the third plane strider beak. Beak number four, and I gotta do my talents. Hmm. it in shield specialization. Um yeah, still need three beaks. Oh, beak number five. Maybe it's just my experience, but you seem to have to drink and eat a lot more often in classic. Uh, 
Head number four. Ah, beak number six. Okay, there's the last beak. Up to head number five. No, I'm talking to myself. While I was talking to the video. That's okay. Up to head number six. Number seven. They seem to drop every time. Number eight. Number nine. Head number ten. Okay, that's the last drafter head. Mm. Plane starter minutes. Have you collected the plane starter beaks? Uh, I got all seven. Very good, Katana. With the plane starters gone, we'll have an easier time keeping our supply chains intact. And I hope you learned a few tricks out there in the Barrens, for your next prey has a little more fire in its blood than the plane starters. The Zebra. Although not the fiercest beasts in the Barrens, are a shade tougher than the plane starters. Don't worry. We'll send you against bigger prey in good time, but for now your teeth could use a little more cutting. Hunt the zebra to the north and south and collect their hooves. Bring them to me and perhaps we'll next send you against something tougher. Fail well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that quest. I do remember doing it a little bit before vanilla. <laughs> I mean before Kata. Raptor thieves, do you have those heads, Katana? You got rid of the raptors. Thank you, Katana. You are a shaman of worth. So you may have killed the raptors, but the silver they stole must be recovered. I have reports that the raptors have a large grouping of nests south of Ratchet, known as the Raptor Grounds. It is likely that they thought brought our stolen silver there. Go to this raptor haven and search for the stolen silver. When you find it, return it to me. Uh, ooh, I got some new boots. For the horde. more quests around here to pick up. Ah, uh, here we go. Peace, the times we live in are as fickle as the shifting winds, shaman. It is important to remember what is true and lasting in this world and to preserve that. Everything else is a waste. Long ago, the barrens was a lush place teeming with life. But war and cataclysm raged across the land, scorching it and leaving a dry husk. Such is the way of things, and it saddens my heart. But within the past few years, new oases have formed in the barrens, and life stirs, and deep down we druids sense of power leaking its way to the surface. You must, we must find a source, travel to the forgotten pools, northwest of the crossroads, search its waters for a source of power, then return We home. shall meet again. I don't think I'm going to do that one just yet. Strength and honor. Have a look at my meats, friend. You won't want to go out into the barrens without a good stock of provisions. I have some choice cuts of meat that I want to send to a friend. Her name is Griska, the innkeeper in Orgamar. Will you deliver the meat for me? The fastest way to Orgamar is on a windrider. Take the meats uh, to the Crossroads Windrider Master, uh, Debrick, and speak with him about transport to Strength. Orgamar. Strength. And honor. Okay. My wind raiders are trained to fly quickly through the hot barren's air. You need to get somewhere fast, then you're talking to the right orc. You have to get this meat to Orgrimmar? That is no problem. For a small feed, my wind rider can take you there. For just a few coins, I will have a wind rider bring you to Orgrimmar. When you get there, you can take Zarg's meats to Grishka. Your end is in the Valley of Strength, not far from the Sky Tower, where my wind rider will drop you off. Speak with me again when you are ready for the journey. Go forth to victory. Hey, I need a rod. <laughs> it's the only two places I have so far. Oh, here it is. What can I help you with? We are 
if we are to make these new lands ours, then we must have places to rest our we battle weary bodies. Lay your axe by the fire and share the stories of your mighty battles. Something smells good. You don't have raw meat on you, do you? Oh, wonderful. Those are fine cuts. These are from Zarg, are they? That orc sure knows his way into a lady's heart. Oh, I can't wait to cook it. But not too much. Meat is best served rare, don't you think? I've written a letter of thanks to Zarg. Will you deliver it to me? Uh, will you deliver it for me? If you've already been to the crossroads and spoken with the Windrider Master, then you can fly our Windrider back there. Take my letter to Doris, the Windrider Master to, of Orgrimmar, and speak with him about transport to the crossroads. May your blade never die. I think I can read it. Dear Zarg, the steaks you sent are fine. Well marbled, thickly sliced, and packed in boar fat. They're just how I like them. But what kind of steaks are they? When I eat them later, I will think of you as I gnaw on the last bits of bone and gristle. I will close my eyes and see your strong, scarred hands chopping and cutting. Ah, that reminds me of when you had your accent and lost a finger. Oh, Zarg, thinking of that day makes me giggle like a little girl. You're so cute when you're bleeding, Grishka. <laughs> Before I go back, I'm gonna find the AH. Lotar! You haven't lived until you've looked down on the world from the back of a wind rider. You need one of my wind riders? You have to get this to the crossroads in the barrens? Yes, I can take you there. My wind riders are trained to fly to many different places, as long as you have already been to that place and spoken to the wind rider master there. Yeah, I've been to the crossroads and spoken to their Windrider Master Debrek, so now you can fly directly to him from here. Once you're at the crossroads, you can deliver Grishka's letter to Zark. Speak to me when you're ready to go. Go forth to victory. Okay. There we go. I hope people buy the crafted light shot I put on the au auction house. Okay. Sub sub. Have you returned from Orgrimmar? Did Grishka like the meat I sent her? Ah, I guess she liked it. Nothing brings red to a lady's cheeks like a big juicy steak. Thank you, Katana. You've done me a great service. Here's some money for your trouble, and don't be surprised if I invite you to my wedding. <laughs> I love that. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, uh, just Wharfmaster, Dizzywig, and the Zebra for ten, uh, this evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, here he is. What's up? Something I can help you with, Katana? There's a shipment I've got to see to otherwise. You seek passage on the next ship, or have some item you wish to send aboard it? A small enough crate. Yes, I should be able to find room for this aboard the ship. It sails with the next tide. I trust this is soon enough. Excellent. Let me just enter it in my ledger. All taken care of. Good day to you, shaman. Being work master of a busy port like Ratchet, I keep my finger on the pulse of information. I know all about the exchange of goods and money between here and Booty, Booty Bay. The latest bit of news I've heard is about the Venture Company's boulder load mine southeast of the sludge fin. One of the miners discovered an emerald the size of your fist. I know a few buyers who'd be interested in getting their hands on something like that, and I'd be willing to go half and half on the sale. Oh, the cat's eye emerald. Have a good one! That one's way up to the east, if I remember right. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, flight point here. But I'm not gonna pick up the other quest just yet. got his hoof on the first try. My head headcanon for these quests is like the idea is that you need a pristine one even though it doesn't say so and like when you attack it it just kind of you break it or something with your weapon. <laughs> oh hoof number two. Hoof number three so that's seven I think. Oh, that was just eight. Hmm. I think it was eight. Anyway. Greetings. 
Jeez, how many zebra have you slain? Not bad, Katana. The zebra hold a lot of strength in their legs. A sharp kick from them can dock even a torrent on its hinge conscious. Looks like you have some strength in you too. Are you ready for a real challenge? Ooh, I knew I was close. But not that close. Now it's time to go after something that really bites. Prowlers of the Barrens are a tough breed. Tough, resourceful, sly, and deadly. You'll find them among the tall grasses. You'll find many to the southwest of the crossroads. Be wary as you hunt them, Katana. Or you may find yourself no longer the predator, but instead the prey. Level 14 already? Hey, it's the first time a prowler crawls, but I don't think I'm going to get very much farther than Okay, it's a second claw. Oh, third prowler crawl. Not that one work. It seems to be a. I've only killed three so far. Four. Claw number five. Claw six. Ooh, claw number seven. That was pretty easy. Got some new gloves. Ooh. Yeah, I'm clipping that. Cool. Ah, uh, here it comes. your hot katana. Have you found the prowlers? Ah, I see you've been busy lurking in the grasses and hunting prowlers. Do you think then it is time to face a champion among them? White Mist, Echiaki in the Torn Tongue, is the king of the Savanna Cats. He hunts with such stealth they say he's like a thin white mist on the earth, and he kills so fast his prey have no time for fear or pain. The Torn say he's both mercy and death. You will learn if that's true, for I now set you on the path to hunt Echiaki. His lair is uh, northeast of the crossroads among the bones of a giant Kodo. Go, blow this horn, and when you reach his lair, blow the horn and he will come. Go forth to victory. This little section I had to re it over because, um, it was muted. I told it to unmute and you missed all of that. That's so frustrating. Okay, he's up past <clears throat> Colonel Fiss. Uh go with honor. Glory to the horde. I died. And then while I was dealing with the Huntress. Farewell. Echiaki uh, despawned, and I didn't have a porn in my bag anymore. For whatever reason. <laughs> I don't know where it went. <laughs> Back to Golden Farm and past Colonel Fist. Okay, the lands haven't respawned yet. Yep, it's just gone. Oh, I killed 
gonna miss time at least. Dang, Linus. This <laughs> oh. Look, Tar. The great cat calls to you, Katana. You've beaten Echiaki, and though his days of hunting are over, his spirit is with you. He will show you the mercy found in subtlety and the honor in mercy. Your path is still long, shaman. Let's hope you stride it well. The angry Scythe Now, Katana, the hunt deepens. Now you must defeat your prey and then find your way to its lair. Hunt the sunscale raptors to the south. Slay them and remove the feathers they wear. Place the feathers on the scythe claw nest southwest of the stagnant oasis. Now their brethren, you do show their brethren you do not fear them. Okay. I think that should go forth to wait victory. till next time. Um, I played quite a bit today, although when I edit it up, it might not be too long. So uh, I'm gonna try to continue to post every week with you know. Uh, classic every two weeks and something else in the intervening weeks. But, uh, I'm glad to be back, and I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thanks for watching, and this is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off. <laughs>